Uh, comes from Wigan, 18 years of age. Former British schoolboy amateur champion. And the French Canadians go into their well-tried routine, flicking each other's hair, taking the other guy's sunglasses off, all to intimidate these young opponents from Great Britain. Great Britain versus Canada. Harry Welch giving away four stone here. Look at that power in this French Canadian. Well, if nothing else, one can only admire the British youngsters. They've got courage to be in with these big, powerful French Canadians. Both ex-lumberjacks. With muscles to prove it. Oh! Gary Wells will feel as if he's been hit by a steamroller. Carl Wallace being the steamroller. Goes for the hip toss, changes, oh, couldn't get him over. The, his opponent was too strong and pays for his mistakes. But there's no respite. Rick picks him up and slams him. And in comes Rick Crawford. Oh, and he misses with a clothesline. Dive across by Gary Wells. Fair play. Did well. But couldn't take the powerful French Canadian down. <laughs> Referee for, John, for this contest, John Aubrey, says keep the... Chops away from the Adam's apple on the throat. Well, I've seen Gary Welch wrestle many, many times before, and he always gives of his all. He is one of the promising young wrestlers in Britain. He could have done with a more experienced man tonight than the young Wiganer in his corner against these two rough houses from Montreal. But, oh, here they go, they're two in Gary Welch up. Oh, and a terrific leg drop there, is this it? One, two, but from somewhere, Gary Welch kicks out. As I was saying young, uh, uh, earlier, Gary Welch could have done with a much more experienced opponent, with a partner tonight. He could have done with somebody like a man we've seen earlier, Tony Sinclair. That was the man he needed to tag with. But this young boy from Wigan, he's not been in yet. Gary Welch knows to leave him out as far as long as possible. The young Wiganer. Everybody that knows him reckons he's going to be a champion of the future. But there's only one place you gain experience, and that is in the ring. Both these British youngsters are tall. The Wigginer comes in and starts straight with a drop kick. Didn't time the second one right, too low. And he throws Carl Wallace to the rope. No. And a dive across by Carl Wallace flattens his man. And here comes Rick Crawford to finish it off. It's going to be a splash.
One man is going to splash the other. Piles him up and over he goes. Right across the Wiganers face. One, two, three. And John Aubrey has counted the young Wiganer out in his first appearance here on Eurosport. But this boy will be back, believe me. I've seen him wrestle before. He is going to be a champion of the future of that, I'm sure. Remember the name, the young Wiganer. And out following him goes Gary Welsh. Game as Ned Kelly's donkey. Fair play to the British boys, but tonight... The winners are the DT, Double Trouble, the French Canadians from Montreal, they are the winners.